Hi guys. Going out for walk. It's been a while. I've not stepped out for quite long now. I think I've been quite lazy because I work at home. So we are going out. This one is picking up some rubbish. That's your good a good Samaritan. <laughs> yeah, so we're going out for a walk also to get some food stuff from Mark and Spencer. Yeah. So how are you all doing? Are you guys okay? I mean, for those of you in the UK, I know that everyone is on lockdown, so it's not something that I would say that you are all happy. But but before we begin with this vlog, if you're new on this channel, kindly subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in and to watch us all the time. We say God bless you for doing so. Yeah, so uh, off today. Normally I'll be working, but God being so good, I'm off. So we're heading on to town. Well, it's not town. If you're in Manchester, well, from where we live to Manchester Piccadilly is like, if you're going to walk, I'll probably say for about like mm, 20 minutes walk, 20 to 25 minutes walk, yeah. But if you're taking the bus, it might take like 10 minutes. And with a car, same as the bus, no, well, yeah, the car, I think it's 10 minutes as well. Yeah, so that's this man. <laughs> Are you feeling cold? Yeah. Very cold. Yeah, it's cold. Well, it's cold, but I'm not feeling cold, 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 cold. Mm, miracle. <laughs> Don't mind him. Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna put on my face mask and we'll see you in the supermarket. Mark and Spencer. <laughs> Busy people are not outside that much. People are outside. This is a, a, a presidential area, it's not supposed to be like this. Must be center, so you know, I expect so many people, but people are outside. It's not good, just like you are outside. Well, yeah. So, what I was literally saying is that it's not that busy. People are not busy out. I mean, there are not so many people outside. But my husband says there are so many people because we are on a lockdown and people have to be in their homes. But What's you the know, of cars on the, road? the cars on the road are so many. Look, like literally, look. So there are so many cars. There are so many cars outside, right? Which means that's not good. Everyone should be at home. They're outside. Maybe you can say because it's a Saturday, people want to shop and stuff, so maybe. Yeah, but I would not say all the cars are going for shopping. Most of them are just out because they want to just, you know, hang out or go visit friends and families. <sighs> That's why I said this people whole lot. Tired of the rules. Exactly, yeah. people are tired of the rules, but yeah. what can we do? We can't do I'm much. Tired as well. Yeah, and people are dying as well. Exactly, what comes out of the tree. Exactly. 
So we are heading towards the the Manchester Fort Mall. As I said, we're going to Mark and Spencer, and then I think that's it. We might go to Lidl to get some few stuff, and then that's it for the day. Yeah, it's freezing, right? Are you cold, babe? Man's not hot. <laughs> Man's cold. <laughs> Feeling cold, isn't it? <laughs> right, can you see? It's all sad. One of our favorite restaurants, Nando's, is literally closed now. So you can just place order and then they'll literally deliver it to your house or to your door. But it's so sad because. The lockdown is not doing justice to everyone. People want to go out. They want to enjoy. They want to have fun. Someone like me, I want to go on vacation, but I can't because of the lockdown, of course. So, you just have to stay home. I think they sell fish, fish and chips, right? <laughs> Wait, do you want to try it? Do hmm? yeah. you want to try it? Hmm? Mm guys we just stepped out of super drug i went to get some was it lemon peppermint and uh, what was the other one no, i didn't see it yeah, the black one green. well it's just i got some sweets for my throat yeah just in case i'm coughing at home <laughs> i'll just pick one and then i should be fine and my ginger my fresh ginger so our next stop is Mac and Spencer our next stop is Mac and Spencer can you see that let me just get closer right so I'm getting in now guys <laughs> Ooh, avocados your favorite fruits. Are you getting one? It's 
So these are this one's favorite fruits. So we are currently in Mark and Spencer. It's too hard. How much is that? 65 pence each. You're getting two. Let me just get some grips. Uh, wait, what's the it is today? So I'm getting the white uh, grips from Mark and Spencer. I'm also going to get some banana. Yeah, I'm going to get some banana. Just trying to get these. So, I'm trying to get these bananas. They are straight from Ghana. Can you see that? Ghana. Yeah. And... Uh, Ooh. This one is trying to get some more avocados. He loves avocados. Right, so I'm in search of carrots. Yeah, but they don't have it, so. Huh? Which one? Chicken. Oh. Ah. So I'm just wondering why they put in the ketchup in the fridge. Someone just put it. Ah, this one. That's yeah. Why is it in the fridge? Do you need more apple juice, babe? Yeah, the vegetables. Let me get some broccoli. Oh yeah, these are my sample. How much is that? Oh wow. I don't know. I think I'll get the, the rest from little. Yeah, I think this should be trying to get some uh, oh sorry. Some pasta or spaghetti. These are the sauces. I don't think I'll need any sauce. Oh. oh no. Where can I? Oh. Oh, these are very nice. What's it called? Mexicani. Oh, that's nice. Right, so we done shopping from Mac and Spencer. We got some. Okay, so we literally got some fruits. You know, the banana is straight away from Ghana. Yeah, my hometown, Ghana. So we got some bananas, cucumber, avocado. Hmm, avocado guru. <laughs> he loves avocado. So yeah, we got more. We got some cucumber tomatoes and uh, I think that's it. The rest of it, we'll try getting them from Lidl later on, yeah. So, yep. It's now time to walk back home.
to prepare some delicious Ghanaian dish. Guess what I'm preparing? I'm going to prepare some bean stew, also known as what? Well, rare. I'm gonna prepare rare. rare. That's one of my my favorite Ghanaian dish. So banku with okra stew is my first favorite Ghanaian dish, and the second one is rare rare so it's red red with fried plantain and also the third one would be cooked yam or coco yam or green plantain with mashed contumbre contumbre is literally uh, spinach so much spinach in um, an authentic blender which is called asanka yes <laughs> with some you know palm nut is it palm nut no it's palm oil yes with some palm oil and uh, some onions some onions and with salted fish or stinky fish and some eggs as well so yeah this evening I think I'm gonna just prepare coco yam um, what's it called yeah I'm gonna prepare mpoto mpoto which is also known as nuhu or co yeah, coconut porridge no it's not coconut it's coco yam coco yam porridge Yes, that's what I'm going to prepare for us to eat for dinner. Yeah. It's very simple, quick to make. In less than 20 minutes, it should be ready. So, yeah. It's good to walk sometimes. It's been a while. So, although my legs are hurting, but I feel that it's just because I don't walk a lot. That's why. But, yeah. I need to do this often. Yeah, it's very important. So, yes, guys. Mr. Sibay. <laughs> Finally home. Finally home, guys. Home sweet home. Guys, it's really freezing outside. It's so cold. So, so, so cold. Oh, my hands are freezing. It's time to prepare dinner. Hi, babe. So guys, we're back from the supermarket. Yeah, so as I said, I'm wearing this beautiful top. I don't know if you guys can see me. Yeah, I'm so short, so you can see me. This beautiful top is by Shein. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave the link in the description box so you guys want to, you know, purchase for this top. I think I got this £4.99, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, they were on sale, so I just got this top. It's really nice, it's summer wear. But, uh, you know, I choose to wear it now. Yeah, so we are going to prepare coco yam porridge. Mm -hmm. Coco yam porridge, which is known as mm -hmm. So just stay tuned. Mm -hmm. On my channel, if you've been on my channel for since day one to now, you should be able to see that video, which is coco yam porridge which is also known as nuhu or mpoto mpoto so i made my own version and the quickest way and easiest way to make it yourself especially if you want to make it for kids you know you don't have that time to you know take a long time to make it the quickest way the healthiest way and the easiest way was how i made it 
so the link i'm gonna link it into my description box you guys should go and check it out how i made the coco yam porridge however today's dinner i'm not gonna use coco yam i'm gonna use yam yeah yam to prepare the inuhu or the yam porridge i would say since it's not coco yam i would say yam porridge or the nuhu so i'm done uh, it's the same recipe that I used just as the cocoa yam just that this time I'm using yam instead of the cocoa yam so I'm just gonna garnish it and I'm gonna show you guys how uh, we're going to enjoy them. You can enjoy this dish without avocado yes on the side so and eggs as well boiled eggs so I'm just gonna you know serve the food yes and uh, as couples we always eat together we don't eat separately I don't know other couples what you guys do in your homes but me and my husband we always eat together we've been doing this for quite a long time now and uh, this is just how I think it's good for us we, we like it this way so yeah we eat together so we're going to eat this in an authentic blender which is the African authentic blender also known as what Asanka so I'm gonna serve the food in it and then I'm gonna garnish it I hope you guys will love how I've garnished it. But you know what? You need to try that recipe. It's quick and easy. So just go and check the link in the description box. Looks like I'm talking too much. Let me just serve the food so you guys can see. Yes. So if you're new on this channel, kindly join this family. As I always say, it's a happy family here. We are always happy. Yes. The vibe is good vibes. Positive vibes. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so just join this happily for me here. So subscribe if you if you're not if you've not done that yet. And if you're a returning subscriber, as I always say, we thank you so 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 much. So far, we could literally see that our channel is growing higher, the numbers are increasing, and we just thank you guys for you know uh, supporting us. And for those of you who have you know joined, we say welcome, Aquaba, Benvenuto. Um, how do you say this in German? Oh god i've forgotten but anyway welcome to our channel and uh yes we hope we give you you know good content and uh if you if you have any suggestion or anything you want us to do or uh, to shoot a video on just comment down below in the, in the comment section below and we'll you know do that for you so stay tuned it's time to eat mm -hmm. Shop time, new friend. Someone is enjoying their meal. Hmm. Hey, the papa, it's so delicious. main problem uh -huh. this food is delicious not because I prepared it you can try the recipe yourself and do share your comments down below 
everyone who, who everyone can say I, I, my food is nice, my food is delicious, yes. but it takes a third or a second person. It's delicious. It is. You don't know someone who has made food and puts salt in excess, eh? And mm. thinks that it's delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, my food is delicious. That is why it's good to let someone else taste the food, right? Babe, I need your honest opinion on this. That. How is the food? Is it salty? Is it sweet? It's nice. Is it's it not nice? Salty. Is it no, delicious? It's not nice, I'll tell you. Oh, so if it's not nice, you tell me. So, guys, you see, white material. The camera, don't want this camera. <laughs> he doesn't want to be on the camera. Um. <laughs> so guys, thank you, thank you guys for you know watching. So this is just a mini vlog and a dinner with us, and um, I think that's all for today. But before we run up, I just want to ask you, babe, just this question: mm -hmm. Are your expectations for this year? What are my expectations? Yeah. Question, if you say what do I expect? Because you know, we, we are in, we are in, in, listen, last year was quite tough and it's all due Obviously, to the pandemic. I hope, I so hope we are still pandemic, in it and we are on a lockdown. Uh -huh, I hope what that this do pandemic you, what, goes yeah, away. You hope and the, we come back to some normality. And I hope that people are able to see that life is not in their hands, it's in the hands of God. So if God gives you one, then you should be grateful because we all can see what's going on in this world right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not an easy thing. Um, it's not It's not to say that we thank God for our, life, our lives because we are alive and, you know, those people who have lost people. Yeah, that's not a good um, saying. What I'm trying to say is that um, man proposes, but it's the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. So, Whatever you do, whatever you are thinking of, just commit your way to the Lord. Just ask the Lord for grace and blessings. And he will take you through. Yeah, that's that's what I, would, I think I would say. Well, wow. I said it all. And uh, it's been quite tough last year. And uh, we hopefully, we hope that the plans that God has for us will and his will for us will come to pass. Because it belongs to God and... Uh, if we were to go to bed and wake up it takes god for that to happen so let's be grateful let's just be thankful and uh, if you've not heard from your loved ones be sure to you know hear from them call them test them if you can't visit them try and visit them although we are on a lockdown you need to respect the government restrictions and guidelines but if there's a way out for you to you know visit someone because they are lonely, you just do so. And if you can't, and, you, and you're not good, uh, you know, we have people that they don't like calling. If you're one of them, this is a new year. Please change your ways. Call people, hear from them, because they might go be going through mental health. I mean, they might go through so many things. But um, just that one call can literally bring a smile onto their face. So do check up on people and uh, be below kindly do check our description box so in our description box would mainly uh contain you know to you know follow us on our socials on instagram as our couple page as underscore the sc base underscore and also on my personal channel as aquile Bobs. so i've got two channels if you've not checked that first one i you better check it because I'm doing great also over there. So you can check out my first channel, which is Hakuli Babs. Also, you can follow us on Facebook as The SC Base or Hakuli Babs or Desmond. Is it Desmond or Neko Bay? I think so. I'm not quite sure. But on Instagram, my husband is Nana Akwe Bay. Or you can choose to, you know, email us at akwele.babstvuk at gmail.com. So aquile.babstvuk at gmail.com. I'm going to leave all in the video so you guys can check it out. And do support our small business page or on our Amazon store. We do sell a tangler brush, which is unisex. Guys can use it. Girls can use it. Children can use it. So it's not mainly for girls. 
but everyone is a unisex so everyone can use it as well if you've not got one and you're thinking of you know since we're on the lockdown you don't want to go out to you know purchase for any gift uh you know amazon store you can get one of the detangler brush for a sister a brother a friend a mother a father an auntie an uncle your children your friends anyone you can gift that to them so do support us on our amazon store as db closet limited or just type in the search icon db detangler brush and so like this video give it a thumbs up share this video with your family and friends and do subscribe if you're new on this channel kindly you know subscribe share this video with your family and friends turn on till next time in our next video bye for now